on Sailing Catalpa. We surf doers and Lee finally gets our starter motor out and gets it going. Numbrella is visited by tourists mostly for its world-class surf breaks. We arrived in November and by December most of the resorts and restaurants are closed until the end of the wet season, which is around April. The plus like side to this was the surf was never <laughs> crowded. pulling in and the wave eating me up. We met lots of Aussies here, some visiting, some that live here on the island, some own resorts, some spend most of the year here and some are married to the locals and now call Numbrella home. Most of these guys are expats that started coming here in the 1990s for the uncrowded surf. This was our friend Dave's nephew who was visiting Numbrella. Turns out he likes to acro and showed us some new moves. We didn't know it at the time, but this would be our last surf at Numbrella. Here's Dad getting some nice ones, you. When you hang your head when you're feeling blue or sad Do you ever feel like you've been left Mum having fun? Let's be high With the light nowhere inside Cause when I see you The tear drop in Nice one, old man, dropping in on mum again. Nah, mum loves it. They actually love surfing together. It's like they're big kids and they never want to leave. Yeah. And when you're feeling worthless, you better believe it. My friend, I understand. Yeah. Just having a little look here at Bomb. Some massive storms around us at the moment. We've got one, two, three, four low pressure systems all around where we are here. So, and there's actually another one below here. It's not shown on this one, but yeah, it's 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 really 
not real stable at the moment. We're thinking about doing a bolt. We do have a little safe zone, but we're still in the process of sourcing this starter, so... We're supposed to stay here with the phone reception and internet until we get it one on the way. We're only sort of probably six hours away from a hidey hole which has pretty much 360 degrees protection, so really tucked away. So as long as we can get everything sorted, we're going to hand there. This is the one we're concerned about here that's building. We're located. We're located just down here. But it's, it's, it's going to move down this way apparently. But we're not right in the run of it, but you just never know what they do. Yep, yep. He's just on the phone with um, the guy that's sourcing our starter motor. Alright, I'll have another chat to Sarah. Yeah, it was just like it was up there in our budget, that was all. It was um, just a lot of money. Alright, so we've got a bit of an update with our starter motor. It's been, how long has it been? About five days since we've been trying to get something going. Lee got the starter motor going again and um, he's just shining up some brushes on there or something so it's... It's not ideal but I've got a big cyclone sitting out there lingering around so I'm a bit nervous so I'm just going to get this a little tidy up so we can definitely start and I think we'll move on probably um, this afternoon or tomorrow morning just to keep a real close eye on this cyclone. At the moment it's in Indonesian waters and they're predicting it's going to Australia off WA um, but they're unpredictable when they're on the ocean they don't really know where they're going to go so there's a chance we are in cyclone areas. Just going to get out of here I think. Prepare for the worst yep. and hope for the best. So we've just left Nambrella. We were planning on leaving early this morning and going the opposite direction. We were going to go to um, a little hidey hole that we stopped at on the way here uh, that was kind of we thought was cyclone proof. Um, we've looked at the weather and the weather it's kind of stable looking to what we we can tell um, but we've got northerlies today which means if we went that way we would have been punching into it. Uh, some of the locals on the island said around the corner is pretty safe and it's out of it's out of the wind so it was getting a bit rough where we were. Um, so we're going around the corner, which is only like four nautical miles away, and we will hang there until the wind shifts, till it shifts to westerlies, which is, I think, is supposed to in a couple of days. Um, we're going to keep a close eye on it, on the weather, because there is a cyclone brewing. The going is is quite safe. We had our doubts because it's on the ocean side, but we're going to head around there anyway. So we'll check it out, and hopefully it's all good, and we'll just stay there for a couple of days. And We've still got to get our starter motor, the new one sourced, so yeah, we'll see how we go with that. Lee's got the old one going, thank God, so we can get out of out of harm's way. But um, yeah, we had a really good time in Umbrella, and we would definitely be back at some point. Like to come back in season um, when everything's open and surf's pumping. We dropped the anchor, and it was so much calmer around here. We were happy with our decision. But because there was a cyclone close by, we went to check out a spot that was supposed to be really safe. Not far away, so we went in the tender to check it out. We wanted to make sure the entrance was deep enough for Catalpa. Oh, Daddy, show us, show us, show Hello? Yeah. Can you clear it? Whoa. It's like a rock wall. Okay. That's made. That's a man-made one. That's man-made. Daddy. Yeah, and there's a stake thing out of it. That is like a fish trap or something? Yeah, it could be. Oh, like... Yeah, it is a full rock wall. It is shallow. I don't know about this. After seeing the entrance, we decided not to attempt. It was very shallow and there was lots of obstacles, so we thought we would stay where we are for now. The rain got heavier and a storm came over, so we headed back to Catalpa. Because it was storming, we thought maybe we should go take shelter in a cave that we saw on the way over. It looks a bit shallow and a bit wavy. Yeah. We can't really see. We can't see the boat. I can make a run for it, eh?
After 10 minutes of not being able to see where we were going, yet yeah, we we're pretty much lost, it finally cleared enough for us to find Catalpa. trying to get some squid. We've seen some squid in the water. They're only little ones we've seen but he thinks he might have spotted some bigger ones. So he's having a squid jig. This is our anchorage. We're at Boas. The water here was insanely clear and where we spent most of our time. And at this moment in time Can't seem to put a foot right Today we've run out of fish, we've run out of a lot of things and we haven't managed to catch any recently so um, what I'm going to use today is some beef mince that my beautiful stepmother dried for us. Uh, I've never used it before and I'm not really sure what to do but I'm going to have a go. I'm pretty much just going to cook it in some water so maybe fry up some garlic and put the meat in there and some oil and then put some diced tomatoes, canned tomatoes in there and let it simmer and soak all the goodness in and hopefully it'll be nice and yummy but I'll let you know how we go. Fry some garlic, add your dehydrated mint, add some tomatoes and a little bit of salt, place in some water or stock, leave on low heat for half an hour or so. While cooking it's important to go and have some fun. Woola! Spaghetti bolognese from Dehydrated Mints. It was delicious. Thanks, Mummy. So we've just woke up, Lee went outside and um, just got really excited, started yelling out, Sweetie, grab the bucket. <laughs> There's heaps of squid around the boat. So Lee had no luck today, but I'm sure he won't stop trying. Like I said, most of our time here was spent in the water. So this morning, um, our friend Dave, who we found his anchor for like a couple of weeks ago, uh, he's going to take us to the market. So we're still on the other side of Roti. So the markets are over near Mbrambra, Numbrella. So we are um, getting a ride over with him, which is amazing. It was about a 15 minute car ride to Numbrella. Good, thanks, buddy. What are you getting there, sweetheart? and um, the tides come in a little bit. Our tender's out here. So uh, I have been given the job to swim out. So. Oh look, it's only a couple hundred metres, you'll be right. <laughs> it's a real gentleman, this guy. So I hope you go, sweetie, go get the boat. So. I would, I don't have my board shots on. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure you do.
just got back from the market. Got some fresh fruit and veggies. Um, and what I do when we get back from the market is just put it all in a bucket and wash it with some water and vinegar just to kill any bugs that are on there or yeah. Make sure it's clean. It's battle. We've got heaps of bananas today. We've got avocados. We got a papaya and cabbage, cucumbers, beans, heaps of tomatoes, cabbage. So we've got our greens. I don't know what it is, but we'll use it like lettuce, I guess. Bean sprouts, which I'll rinse. And I got heaps of bananas because we freeze them. So we put heaps in the freezer and we can make smoothies and um, I'll freeze some papaya. And that will be us for well, at least a week, even longer. We don't know what we're doing yet if we're um, gonna be here longer than a week we're, we're gonna sit here in this beautiful place we're not complaining and um, organize our, our starter motor so we're pretty stoked that we can be somewhere like this and wait for our starter motor um, we've got a local helping us we did source one in Kupang and we just um, it was gonna cost a lot of money, so we're just trying to get one a little bit cheaper, and hopefully we can. Otherwise, we can get one from the other guys, but we're gonna see if we can get them cheaper. And then, and they're gonna ship it to us here, so we'll get it on the ferry. So Lee doesn't have to leave me and the kids on our own, which that was gonna be the plan. But hopefully, you won't have to. We had a really good day yesterday. We went uh, out to the island out here and had a snorkel around it. It was really beautiful. Went inside the cave. There's heaps of tiny little bats. And so do I feel the weight sometimes lost without a line. But through the sadness. So the boys just got back from fishing and um, they got a Spanish mackerel. Yeah? And did it! So it's a beautiful sunset. I was just looking at it. The half of the water is orange <laughs> and half is um, not getting this the reflection of the sun. So it's, we're totally rolling with this swell that's coming in. Tonight's dinner, Spanish mackerel with uh, potato chips and tomato and cucumber with some olive oil and lime juice. We're just sitting up here watching the sun go down, eating our dinner. How is it? It's good? How is it, buddy? Good. We've got starter motor update. <coughs> we uh, no longer have a starter motor on the boat. <laughs> so we're sitting here without being able to uh, go anywhere. Where are you going? Um, so what's happened is we have given our old starter motor to somebody to 
What do they call it? Tell us what's happening. Well, we've got one getting reconditioned and we're getting one manufactured for us. So an original one was going to cost us $1,200. So we are hopefully get two starter motors for 500 Our one refurbished and a Japanese one after, well not aftermarket, but just a Japanese replacement. A built one. A Japanese built one. Yeah. So that should be good. But we've got probably four days of waiting for a starter motor, so we're immobile at the moment. And uh, so we're hoping yeah, no bad weather no comes. Storms through. come, fingers crossed. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I let a little bit more chain out, and we just have to ride it out. Yeah, but it's all it's all good news because you know we've been sitting here kind of umming and ahhing what we're going to do, um, and we didn't want to outlay that amount of money. Pretty much is it's a good outcome if this all works out. Yeah, it'll work crossed. out. It'll work out. We feel, both feel really good about it. So we've had locals here that we've met and yeah. they've helped us out. And yeah. Someone knows someone that knows someone that knows someone with that dog that knows someone that and you his know, brother and his brothers, mothers, sisters, yeah. cousins. Yeah. yeah, that's who it is. Anyway, uh, it's on its way to Kupang, and it'll get refitted. <laughs> then it'll it. come back. <laughs> so oh, yay! It all worked out. We'll celebrate in a few days. But that's the update. <laughs> so join these two monkeys next time on Sailing Catalpa as we have the worst storm we've ever been in and somebody needs to be stitched up. If you like our videos and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all